This is Duke University. There's a, a common pattern in adolescence where people will have one psychiatric problem and then as they get older they might have another. And sometimes the second one is substance abuse or alcohol abuse. So we wanted to see if kids who had uh, had depression during adolescence um, and had been successfully treated would be less likely to develop uh, alcohol or drug use disorders later. We followed them for five years after their treatment and uh, found that if they had responded to the depression treatment, they were much less likely to develop a substance use disorder, a drug use disorder. We didn't find any effect for alcohol use disorders. We think that perhaps uh, it was because of the age period where they were, uh, at the end of our study, they were between 17 and 23, so they were college age. And that's the highest age range for alcohol use disorders. And so it's um, more, more frequent, more common at that age than, their, than at younger or older ages. And so the, uh, any benefit of depression treatment might not have shown up in that age range because alcohol um, use disorders are so common at that time. That's just a guess, though. We don't, we don't really know why it didn't work for that. The other finding that we had that was really, I think, very interesting was when the teenagers got over the depression, about half of them stayed well for the whole five-year period, but about uh, almost half of them had a second episode of depression. And what we found out was that for those who had both alcohol disorders and another depression, the alcohol disorder usually came first, almost always came first. So what that says to me is that if you have had or your child has had depression during adolescence, it's really important for them not to get into an alcohol problem because that raises the risk that they'll have another depression. So I think that's another way, to, another area that needs further investigation. What is it about uh, alcohol that lowers uh, the threshold for a second depression? Produced by Duke University, online at duke.edu.